Shalom, brothers. Uh, Kamal Wahar here, back at it again. First things first, we give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rikak Wadash. Double honors, apostles, elders, and the truth from GMS. Blessings to the Akimah Dare, preaching his word with whole heart, true sincerity. Uh, blessings to the uh, 144,000 and one third, the first fruits kingdom in heaven, the house of David, the Biaf Dawadah. And Shalom to you, brothers out there that speak in different tongues and look in different nations. Shalom. So, uh, you brothers don't know. Um, I, I just put this video up, but the, the, the voice was muffled and it was a Yapa video. I thought it was, but due to the spirit of power, Yahab Hashem Yahushai, you know, I should be able to, um, uh, you know, duplicate um, the precepts I was getting into. I'm not really rem remembering what I said, um, but the precepts I'm, I'm let come out. So what I was doing was I was bringing up a video on uh, Galatians 3.28. Um, but it was all about the seed, the, the seed, the, the, the promised seed line was, um, was, uh, uh, Abraham and Isaac and, um, Isaac's seed line on after was the promised seed line. So, um, uh, what a lot of, uh, Christianity people in the hobbies and hedges like to do, they like to bring out Galatians 3, 28, um, where it says, uh, here, neither, neither there is Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free, neither male nor female, for you are all one in Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. So I also think it's very hilarious because I also see that, uh, like, for example, I see in a video where it will be a person saying, well, you know what? If you want to, you know, battle and go back to back with uh, with the Hebrew Israelites on the corners, just bring out Galatians 3 and 28 and see how they break that down and see what they say about that. And, and, and that's just going to really get them out of here. But they have no idea that. Brothers are really scholarly at the, at the, at the, uh, the scriptures, and that's just a a, a, a a scripture we can break down very easily to come to counter them in the truth. Because you know we all know that uh, nor Greek nor Jew, um, nor free nor bond was going into effect that um, that the Israelites were just all in one with Yahweh Shah. But see, what's going on is in that time frame he had like you know the Hellenists. And he had like uh, which is our Israelites who who, who speak in the the, the Greeks because Paul could speak Greek. You know, they, they take up the Greek customs. They was doing what they doing along being like Greeks. So that's why they was called Gentile foreigners. But it was also there was some Jews who was doing the laws and the way they was opposed to. And he felt better than the other Greeks. And it was a lot of going back and forth going on. So that's why Paul had to step in and being like there's neither Greek nor Jew nor free nor bond or whatever he was talking about uh, in 28. Where it's like you're all just in one. So I made a reference. Uh, hopefully it makes sense again. Where it's like this is like having a another having another brother and we're battling between player team of football and i'm and, and then my our dad comes in like listen brothers it's, it's not it's not about the football player it's not about the teams or uh, it's, not, it's nor 49er nor nor panther nor eagle nor cardinal but you're all a one as the nfl so i hope i didn't lose brothers with that one but that's basically what paul was doing it's not all about the different fatimatics or whatever all of us are Israelites, or all of us are as in one in Yahweh Shah. That's what it's all about. Forget that Jew, forget that Greek. You know, it's all about uh, the Israelites all in one. And uh, not to remember, Paul was going after his um, uh, the good the, the the Israelites in uh, Galat in, in the, the the Galatians and Israel uh, the Israelites that was in Galatia, and he was calling himself Galatians. So, and but what's going on is a lot of people, the Christianity and people who scoff at the at the brothers. On the highways and hedges, they miss out the 29th verse, where it says, And if you be of Yahawashah, the Mashiach, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Now you got to be careful with that because um a scoffer would would not would not read that properly. And they'll say, We're all in Christ, and we're all Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Well, see, that's 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 a little little stupidity now because the seed is the seed. Just like if Bob Bob has two sons, those two sons are from the seed of Bob. But that don't mean that I I'm, I can incorporate myself as I'm the seed of Bob. Nah, Bob has his own seed. But I have two sons, and those two boys are the seed line of me. And Bob's kids, nor Bob, cannot be a part of my seed. That's my seed coming out of my 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 scrotum nut sacks or my quivers. So it's like that's ridiculous. It's not, and they're looking at it spiritual when this is actually very, very, very uh, verbatim. It's like what it is. And so, so, and what happens is if you're unlearned and unknowledgeable about the about the truth, 
and not understanding what the scripture is talking about, then you have to go precept upon precept that Isaiah 28 talks about. And it says, if you are, if you, if, and if you be Yahweh Shah the Mashiach, then you are Abraham's seed, heirs according to the promise. Well, you got to be like, okay, well, according to this now, if you read 28, you got to be like, okay, well, it's talking about Abraham's seed according to the promise. Now, what's up with this seed line according to the promise? Like, you, you got to, you got to go with that. Now, let me go to four. And um, let me see. Galatians 4 had another little flow in there. 23, 22 with 23. It says, for it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by bondmaid Hagar, which made Ishmael, and the other by free woman, Sarah. But he who was the bond woman was born after the flesh, Ishmael. But the free woman was, was by promise. See, there he goes. So Sarah's seed had a son made by the promise. So now you got to go. Now, when you go to three, you like, hold up now. Okay. So now there's a bloodline thing going on. It's not spiritual. You just can't be of the same seed line. Either you are or you're not. But this seed line of Abraham's seed, according to the promise. Now, it also says that he has two sons. One by a bondmaid and one by a free woman. So now as one was made by the flesh and another one by the promise. So now you got to find out who these, who was made by the, uh, by, by the uh, flesh and who was made by the, uh, by the promise. So now we can go in then depth on what this, on who made of Yahweh and also Abraham's seed according to the promise. So what you want to do is you want to go to Genesis uh, 17. And 19 and through 21 and it says 19 and the most high says Sarah thy wife shall be shall bear thee a son indeed and thou shalt call his name Isaac and while I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant with his seed after him. And it says 20. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee and behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget and I will make him a great nation. Now, granted, that happened. You see that today. Ishmael got oil and Dubai and all those Ishmaelites. Man, they out here. They got 7 Eleven. They living real good out here, just like the scriptures said they will. They, they're they almost living just as good as, uh, as Esau. Which Esau got the blessing of the fat thereof of the earth. So that's why they're the kings of the earth right now. They're the, the hey honchos. But but Ishmael is, is cool. He good. 21. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear thee a son to set time in the next year. So now you see now Isaac from Sarah is that son made by the promise. Now, mind you, now this is where it gets stiff now. When people are unlearned, they start getting to the scriptures and start reading it with their whole semantics and going low too far. It says the covenant, though. It's the covenant. It, it didn't say the promise. Okay. Well, okay. So it said that he would establish Isaac um, as the covenant. So hold up. So now, now people might go forth with that. Let's go to Romans now. So what you want to do is you want to go to Romans. Romans, the ninth chapter. And let's go to the start of three. And it says, now granted, Romans will be Paul. Paul is a Benjaminite, also from the, from the tribe of Benjamin that come from the son of Jacob, which is from the son of Isaac, where the, where the promise was made and the covenants were made. So Abraham, Isaac brings out Jacob and Esau, but Jacob was the seed line and then turned to Israel and had 12 sons, which one was Benjamin, which birthed out Paul, um, and when and that proves that he's actually from the sea line. Now let's go to let's go to the three. Romans three, nine and three. For I could have wished that myself were a curse from Yahweh for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. Well, that's this that's the sea line. That's the seed. Because because my father had birthed five boys through his seed. And out of his seeds, he got five sons, which makes me a son, and the other four boys will be my brethren from the seed line of my father. You get that. And now my father's seed line goes back to Jacob and Isaac and Abraham, which gives me the promises and the covenants. Now, hold, hold up now. Remember, in Genesis, it said covenant. So they might battle that it said covenant and not promise. Let's keep on reading. My brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, meaning meaning the brethren and according to the flesh, like I said, is from the same seed line. And it said, who are Israelites? So now Paul's brethren and his kinsmen according to the flesh 
are the seed line of the Israelites who come from Jacob because he's a Benjaminite. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption, the glory, and hold up, the covenants and the giving of the law, the service of God, and the what? The promises. Now, who was the promises given to and what seed line was given the promises? Abraham, Isaac, and to Jacob, which Isaac was the one he was promised. And let's back that up. Now, we read that Paul was saying his brethren, according to the flesh, which he's a Benjaminite and also an Israelite who he was speaking to, who pertaineth the covenants and the promises. Now, let's go back to Genesis. Genesis 17, um, 19. Well, 20, I clicked on 20, but it'd be the same thing. So it says, and the Mosiah says, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. Now, Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. Who was the son of Isaac? Jacob. And, and Jacob was the chosen seed line from Isaac. And it says, but my covenant will I establish with Isaac and Sarah shall bear thee at the set time in the next year. Now, let's go to Genesis 21. Uh, 21 and uh, 12. And it says, and the most high said to Abraham, let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of thy bond woman. And all that Sarah have said unto thee, hearken unto her voice for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Isaac seed shall be called. So now those so-called Jew Israelites or Jewish people, they come from the seed of Esau, which was so-called white man for the reason why they're actually um, red like that. And so they're claiming to be the seed line of Jacob, which is ridiculous, but that's a whole other topic. Now, granted, let me go back to Galatians Here's another, here's another thing, uh, uh, brothers. So when you get out there and you understand this, this is this lesson is for you, brothers, so that way you can be able to cut this. Galatians 3 and 28 again. Let's go to 29, actually. It says, And if you be of Christ, which is the Mashiach, Yahushua, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So who got the promise? Isaac's, Isaac's seed got the promise through Jacob which are the Israelites and the Israelites are the ones with the covenant and the promise. So that means Jacob was the chosen seed line from Isaac. But hold up though. It also says that if you are the Mashiach, then you are Abraham's seed. See what they, what they also don't know is that Yahweh, who they call Jesus Christ, the Mashiach is also from the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Whoa. So let's go to Hebrews 7 to 14. Hold up now. So now you can't be of Yahusha if you not the seed line of Abraham. You can't be. You can't just play. Well, we're all seeds of, 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 of Christ and we're all Abraham's seed. No, you're not. No. Hebrews 7 to 14 says it says, for it is evident that our Lord Yahweh spring out of Judah of which the tribe of Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So the, our Lord and Savior spring out of the tribe of Judah, which is also one of the sons of Israel, changed from Jacob to Israel. And one of the sons of the 12 tribes is Jacob, which also one is named Benjamin, who's also one of the seed line where Paul come from. But Yahweh Shah, who they call Jesus Christ, is from the tribe of Judah out of the 12 tribes of Israel. Ooh, so that means if you have Christ, then that means you are one with Christ, but also the brethren in a seed line of Abraham's seed who was given the promise. So if you're of Christ, then you're also of the Abraham's seed line that's got the promises. No other nation, man. No other nation. That's a clear cut right there. And that's a strong disappointment to you other nations. So when you try to break down three and 28, it's not going to work. As a matter of fact, just for just for shits and giggles, let me go to um, Psalms one time. Now, this is not the seed line, but it's damn sure going to hit the same way. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. It says, it says, he show off his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Right. Because you got to remember in Paul and Paul in, the, in, in Romans and Romans. In Romans, the ninth chapter, in the fourth verse, 
it said that who are Israelites who pertain of the adoption of glory, the covenants, the giving of the law was giving to the Israelites, the service of God and the promises. So when you go to Psalms 147, 19 and 20. It said he showed off his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. That's why it says the giving of the law. It said he have not dealt so with any nation. He only dealt with the actual seed line of Jacob. And as to the judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So you can't just say, oh, yeah, Galatians 3 and 28 is for everybody. And it says neither Greek nor Jew nor a fee no bond, no woman nor whatever. But when you read 29, it said you are of Christ, so you are of Abraham's seed according to the promise. And when you go according to the promise, the promise was given to Abraham's seed, to Isaac's seed, to give to Jacob. Well, Jacob got the 12 tribes of Israel. With the 12 tribes of Israel are the ones who have the statute and commandments, the giving of the law, the covenants, and the promises. It's the seed line. You just can't be in the seed line. I would never be in the seed line of Bob who birthed out Bill and Willie. It's not happening. That's not my seed line. My seed line is from my father that birthed the five boys. But before him goes back to the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Esau goes back to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, to Esau, but not Jacob. Esau is one thing and Jacob is a whole nother thing. It's the seed line the seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I then got to it. I didn't put it straightforward. It is that simple, according to the promise. And so you can't cut, you can't cut Genesis 17 and 19 and 21 because it says the covenants. It says everlasting covenant. But remember, the covenant was given to the Israelite, pertaining to adoption, the glory, the covenant, the giving of the law. In service of God and the promises, which the promise was given, was given unto um, the promise was given unto unto Jacob, Israel. It's what it is. Call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Kakwadash. Um, Yahweh He is to be exists by Shem in the name and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah by Shem in the name and the, and the Holy Spirit of Kakwadash. Double honor to Apostle Elder learns true from GMS. And blessings to the Akimah Dare Preaching's word with wholehearted true sincerity. And blessings to you, um, 144,000 and one third, the first fruits kingdom of heaven, house of David, the Biyav Dabada. And shalom to you, brothers out there that speak in a different tongue, looking different nations. Shalom.